Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your host with the most, B to the R to the ADO, here on my show on YouTube, and of course, appearing now on LeafSpace.com. And what am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about the hottest topic last night on Twitter. No, I'm not talking about Kanye West. I'm really happy for you. I'm going to let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. Okay, that's enough, Kanye. Two minutes in the box for talking too much and acting like a douchebag. And we all know that, well, you're a gay fish. Now what I'm talking about is Phil Kessel being moved from Boston to Toronto and signing a five-year extension deal. Now, Boston gets a first round and a second round pick in this year's upcoming draft and a second round pick in the draft after that. And I'm thinking, whoa, that's kind of pricey for a guy who's not even going to play until November. Now, I know what you guys are probably thinking. You're thinking... Berkey, what are you doing? I mean, you're giving away our future here, because if we don't make the playoffs, that's going to be a high pick. Whoa, 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 slow down. First off, it's a gamble, yes. Make no mistake. But this could pay off. I mean, if the Leafs make the playoffs, instead of being a, you know, top five draft pick, you're looking maybe at a top 20, maybe 15, 16, 17, 20 or above. Who knows, right? So, in a way, it could work for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And make no mistake, they definitely need some goal scoring. Don't get me wrong, I don't have any disrespect for Jason Blake, Ponikarovsky, or Stajan, or anybody like that. But when a kid can score 36 goals, and he's only in his third year of NHL, I mean, let's not forget, people, he was drafted three years ago. Now, a lot of people argue, well, when he comes back from injury, maybe he won't play that good, because people that come to Toronto don't score really well, like Jason Blake. You know, he scored 40 goals, and look what happened in his first season. I understand. I understand where we're coming from. You know, we really haven't had a goal scorer since Matt's. And we all know what happened there. Honestly, though, I think this is a really great move by the Toronto Maple Leafs, and this shows their fans that they care about winning and getting back to the playoffs. Not necessarily just winning a Stanley Cup, but competing year in, year out. And trust me, we haven't had this much to cheer about, or this much buzz, or this much hype in quite some time. I mean, last year was kind of... Well, you know what happened last year. So, uh, anybody want to go to a Jays game? Got uh, Jays tickets to say, when do we go? Uh, there's nothing better to watch, right? Let's, let's go watch, you know, Jays? Jays, anybody? Blue Jays? Exactly. Enough said. Now, of course, Brian Burke is not like John Ferguson Jr., who made that ridiculous trade for Andrew Raycroft for Tuka Rask, and everybody remember that? Yeah. We were all hyped about that, and what happened? And I agree with what Steve Dangle said about having our defense, and that Brian Burke probably isn't done yet. I mean, let's look at it this way. We got Boschman, Commissaire, Caberle, Shen, White. That leaves pretty much, what, one roster spot? Because you know Caberle's going to be on the team. You know Commissaire and Boschman are going to be on the team. You know that Shen's probably going to make the team. That leaves two open spots. So, X will be in White? You know, we definitely have a lot tougher defense now. Teams that are going to be coming into our building are not going to be giving us trouble anymore. And I can tell you one thing, our team is definitely not going to be picking our teeth out of the glass anymore. Yeah, I'm speaking to you, Habs fans. You think you're all that in a bag of potato chips? Well, guess what? When you come into our barn, it's going to be a little bit different story. I can already see Habs fans saying something like, Sacre bleu! They have tough defense! Oh no! We can't do that! We have to beat them because they cannot score on Gary Price! Oh, ha ha ha! you have those Ottawa Senators fans or those Nashville Predator fans or those Detroit Red Ring fans that are always yeah well don't matter because the Leafs don't have any goal scoring so yeah they might be able to keep the puck out of the net but they ain't gonna be able to score and they ain't gonna score they ain't gonna win <laughs> but what I want to know is what you guys think the hockey fans that's right Leaf fans Bruins fans Habs fans Rangers fans hell even if you're a Columbus Blue Jacket fan let me know what you think does this help Toronto get into the playoffs? Does this make them a better team? Does it make them a worse team? Did Toronto give up too much? Whatever the case, I want to know what you're thinking. So just leave me a video comment or a response below right there, or you can follow me on Facebook and Twitter right over there. Add me as a friend, rate me, subscribe me, whatever you please. And hey, if you haven't heard about Leaf Space, join it now. There's 5,000 of us and we're growing. That's right, we're back. Of course, add me as a friend on Leaf Space as well. And hey, who knows, maybe I'll see you at the next game.